is the biggest thing that Jeep bring into Ireland at the moment. And I'm going to tell you something straight off. It's brilliant. It's probably one of my favorite cars in the last 12 months that I've driven. It really is. Uh, they've just hit the nail on the head with everything. Everything in the car has just been done exactly the way I wanted it, really. Uh, I didn't, I suppose my expectation level of what it was going to be was, was kind of low because, well for two reasons, one, the Jeep, uh, it, this one, is based on a Mercedes ML and generally speaking the ML is pretty rubbish. Uh, as a road car, it's very soft, very uh, sloppy old thing in the corners, terrible old you know, to drive, but this is nothing like that. <laughs> the only thing that actually gets left over, I suppose, from the Mercedes is that all of the stalks, indicators, wipers, lights, the whole lot is on this side here, um, and I have a foot brake for a handbrake, you know, uh, you know, one that's push down, foot brake things. Other than that, everything has come from Jeep. This one's actually powered by a 3 litre V6 diesel engine and it's the most economical one of these I've driven. It, it gives me about 9 litres per 100 kilometres which is very good for an automatic, it's very good. It's only 5 speed box as well. And I've done pretty savage miles, very mixed as well. I've been up in Dublin, I've been on the motorways, I've been around everywhere and it, it's really done a good job at being uh, very economical. I'm surprised about it. But some of the nicer features of the car, the first feature that hits you right between the eyes is the cabin. The cabin in here feels luxurious. I mean, they've done a proper, proper job on the way the cabin feels. The choice of materials are fantastic. That wood feels like wood. Uh, the leather is very soft and supple. All four seats are heated in the car. There's five seats, mind you, but all four are heated. You can have heat across the back seats as well. And the other thing that smacks you in the face is the handling. It actually handles very well. And anyone who thinks that Jeeps or these kind of big 4x4s don't handle well, you're in for a shock with this one. It actually does. It handles really well. Look at that. Throw it in there. Throw it back out there. No problem. Just point and go. Now the engine puts out 235 brake horsepower, which is quite a bit actually for a, a 3 litre. Um, it's done a pretty good job. And I have all of the doodads that you really want in a 4x4. So I have this dial here in the middle that I can set. I can just leave it in auto if I want it. But I have on it snow, uh, sport, uh, I've also got sand and mud and rock. And I have four wheel, uh, four wheel drive lock. And I also have uh, downhill control, speed control, so I don't have to use the brakes when I'm going on a really, really, really steep hill. Now, in auto, of course, it just makes up its own mind what it's going to do, but if you go to sport in this, it actually turns the traction control off. I have been genuinely shocked by how good this car is. I'm not going to mess with you. Um, it is a superb vehicle, and there are no options fitted to my test car. None. Nothing. This is the way you buy it. So everything you're going to see in the video, you will be able to buy on the car you're getting, no matter what it is. The ride is, at times, here and there, it's a little bit bouncy, but that's to be expected because of the height of the car. I expect that now, to be honest with you, because, uh, I mean, the Land Cruiser is bouncy as well, as is the, say, the Range Rover Sport, bouncy as well. Now, I have had a few people tell me that it's better than a Range Rover Sport. Being honest with you, it's so long since I drove a Range Rover Sport, I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Uh, it does feel more competent, but I, I'd prefer to drive a brand new one, Range Rover Sport, before I'd make in mind than that. I do think it is a bit better than a Land Cruiser. Uh, it certainly looks better on the outside than a Land Cruiser. It just does. Uh, I think that big, tough, mean look on the outside that it's got really does justice to the car. Uh, it is very quiet in here when you're just cruising like I am now. As you can hear, it is very quiet. And then when you want to go, you can go. And I mean go. Watch. Whoa! 
so smooth the gearbox is really 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 smooth I'm not joking you uh, very like you know the VW DSG box very like that very good very good I didn't expect it to be as good as it is that's being honest with you I, t I didn't think so I thought it was going to be um, an interesting car to drive I didn't realize it was going to be this good the 4x4 system in these Grand Cherokees has always been very good but this is particularly good I'll show you a little bit I haven't got really an off-road course that I can go on but I can show you a little bit here so we're on kind of snow or sand and mud so we go for sand and mud there and we have a big ridge here in front of us we go you see the ground clearance is massive in it it's huge that's a big step We are in sand and mud. The traction control is off. The car turns that off in this sort of conditions. Whoop, yeah, that's a big lump there. Big there. Oh yeah. Look at that. No hassle. And it's really comfy when you do this. It's very good. The back out in the road then. And off she goes. It's good, isn't it? I would really have to, you know, concentrate on really stupid little details to start criticizing this car because comparably to everything else in the segment it's better really uh, it's more economical by a long way uh, it's tougher looking and feeling that engine is brilliant I think that's Viet's own engine actually I don't think it belongs to Jeep at all I think it's Viet's but uh, that engine sounds like it'll go on forever it makes a lovely V6 note when you put your foot down and yet it's very quiet when you just want to cruise along it never feels troubled by anything you're doing I never feel like there's anything bad gonna happen it just feels good it's just good